Services at the Dora Nginza Hospital in Qabekha in the Eastern Cape are severely strained as a nurse's strike enters its third day today. The nurses are demanding that hospital management deliver more beds and provide more staff to maternity wards. Veli Singhana is the Eastern Cape Provincial Secretary of the Democratic Nursing Association of South Africa, Donosa, and joins me now. Good evening. Uh, Veli, this is so interesting to me. It seems the demands that you are making are not for yourselves, but for patients and patient care. Tell us more. Good, good evening, evening, Emma and the viewers. Uh, yes, um, as Dinosa, we are advocating for patients and the employees because the employees as well belong to the society. Share with us, Veli, some of the stories uh, that the nurses are reporting about some of the traumatic scenes they have to witness in the absence of resources and support. Um, thanks, Emma. The problem at Doranginza is more than we see on the screens. Uh, we are in the situation whereby there is no equipment. We do have the problem of short staffing and the problem of the overflow particularly the, 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 the matter we, which we are referring to, that is a, at the maternity ward, which happened to, the, to be the bone of contention. Um, at Doranginza, you would have noted that there were actions over the week, and part of the actions were caused by the challenge within the management, uh, within the Department of Health at large. I'm saying this because there was a notice issued by the CEO uh, which says uh, the managers, especially at the obstetric wards, they must not admit, in, especially if there are no beds for those patients. Now, the problem, uh, we had the professor or a doctor who insisted to admit irrespective of that directive from the CEO. So, so, what now, you, the problem, so what are you saying to us, Veli? I mean, is, is it that part of management is on board with your demands, understands the problem and is trying to cooperate and is being undermined, um, you know, by others in the hospital system? Yes, the, man the management uh, came up with the temporary measure to say, look, at this point in time, because we do have the problem of not having enough beds and at the same time we are experiencing the overflow at the moment let there not be any um, admission for the patient however uh, that notice was clearly stating that we're going to consider uh, those patients who are critical in admission so that we sit with that we are prioritizing within the facility now what happened there was a doctor who happened to insist and, and admit those patients. Uh, at the end of the day, you will notice, Emma, that uh, the problem within our health system, hence we are saying, as you know, so that the health system is falling apart. The problem within our health system, as time goes by, the department is being litigated from time and again. And, and, and after it has been litigated, the victims at the end of, at the, end of, of, of the day are the nurses and the workers at large. Now, the situation at Doranginza at that particular time would experience, because of lack of beds, you would experience patients who are, who are post cesarean section patients, patients on maternity who were sitting on chairs, some lying down, of which it was unethical. Hence, the notice uh, was raised by a CEO, rightfully so. Right. I just want to come to one important point, uh, Veli, before you go. And of course, the scenes, um, you know, that you alluded to and what we've read in your news release about patients, and these are maternity ward patients lying on the floor or not being able to be allocated a bed are so distressing. We did hear from the Department of Health that a team from other hospitals was deployed to assist uh, the hospital across several specialties, including obstetrics and gynecology. What was uh, Denosa's impression about how helpful that was? The response of the department is based on the action. Actually, they should, they should command the action which has been taken by workers. 
because that's how they responded. As of now, I can tell you that uh, in addressing the staffing solution, it, as we speak, we are from the meeting whereby the HOD is promising that uh, very soon they are going to employ, they are in process to employ uh, nurses uh, in relevant units. So as to sit with that, that dealing with the situation. The problem here, Emma, is that uh, initially you would experience the situation whereby the department doesn't, um, uh, we do have people who resign or retire, be it some passed away, but those posts which are vacant and funded, they fail to, 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 to replace those cadres up until the boys we, we discover that those posts um, are right. uh, they said it's, it's it's out of baseline that's a challenge that's a management challenge on that side right we, we have to leave it there really because we're out of time but certainly uh, you know a complex mix of both historical and contemporary challenges there at that hospital which are risking the lives of patients and as you say making the work of the staffers particularly the nursing staff increasingly difficult again it's another story we will continue to monitor and watch developments around veli singhana is the eastern cape's provincial secretary for denosa